And so now we come to the newspaper segment of Fez Night, which I've gone on really long, haven't I? Oh, oh so much talking, so much blabbing. Mm. Yeah. Well, there's two things that caught my, uh, caught my eye in the newspaper, and I, I kind of wanted to mention this really Digging up some old and new conspiracies, and this is the L.A. Times Sunday paper. This was in the arts and books section. Along the stretch of the U.S. highway, where I live, there is a small sign announcing that the road has been adopted by the John Birch Society. This fringe group of yesteryear, whose Dallas members distributed commie-baiting wanted-for-treason leaflets of President Kennedy prior to his visit and assassination there, now sponsors litter removal like any other proper civic-minded organization. Did I skip a line there? This fringe group of yesteryear, whose Dallas members, whose Dallas members distributed commie baiting, wanted for trees and leaflets of President Kennedy prior to his visit and assassination there, now sponsors litter removal like any other proper civic organization. Sorry for going over that twice. The red under... <laughs> The red under every bed zealot, zealotry, zealotry that Richard Hofstadter dissected in the paranoid style in American politics and Bob Dylan satirized in talking John Birch paranoid blues has been rehabilitated. They're back. Or maybe it's just been coyly rebranded, given a veneer of halfway respectable populism by the grassrootsy Tea Party label. Oh, it's Tea Party. as an outlet for angry minds who get, who get to cherry pick among speculations that the President of the United States is a socialist traitor, a foreign agent, an illegal immigrant, a secret Muslim, a tool of Jewish bankers, a black Hitler, or all of the above. See, that's, that's why I'm critical of the right, because they have these people there. You know, there's actually a story here, but I didn't talk about it, how they said that the Bill O'Reilly is actually, lo and behold, probably a moderate as far as the right-wing stuff because he doesn't buy into all this stuff. He won't, he won't, apparently, if I'm guessing right, he's not really getting drawn into the birther thing. And for you that are not aware of the birthers, they're the people that claim that Obama was not born in Hawaii. I thought this was interesting. And so, uh, so the McCarthy era clearly was a bunch of crazies. And the Red Scare and all that created a lot of bad stuff in Hollywood. And um, some very, very talented people were blacklisted and made so they couldn't work or couldn't write. They couldn't work in Hollywood because of McCarthy and the Red Scare. I mean, talk about, talk about um, locking people up or shutting them out for their beliefs, for their opinions. And uh, apparently there's some groups or some people living in the United States who call themselves good Americans that, that think this is clearly okay. Reagan was one of the early anti-communist pe people. That's, that's one of the, the ways that he entered politics. Was, um, he was a Hollywood actor that was ready to name names. <laughs> Even though they shut him out, nobody trusted him. He didn't know. He didn't know the real commies. I'm sure. And anyway, there's three. There, there's three books out: Voodoo Histories, Strange Days Indeed, and The Watchers. So I might go back and, and read more of this in depth. But what is Fez Night? Fez Night is just a sampling of things. A little bit of me vlogging about my personal life. Oh, another thing Pops thought was funny is that, I mean, it's just hilarious that I'm out of work and uh, I'm unemployed right now. That's, that's hilarious. And, um, I mean, that's comedy. And uh, the other thing, uh, how I used to talk about my ex-girlfriend. For some reason, he found that amusing. So let me know what you think. Um, and then uh, this headline caught, caught my eye. This headline says, Obama and Reagan. Obama comma, Reagan, bound by recession. A charismatic president sweeps into office amid economic turmoil, promising to turn the country around. 
Instead, things get worse. The unemployment rate climbs into double digits and the federal budget deficit soars, sending his approval ratings plummeting and triggering unrelenting criticism of his economic strategy. Sound familiar? It's the tale of President Obama's first year in office, but also of Ronald Reagan's nearly three decades ago. And let me skip ahead here. I thought there was another good, good bit in here. And um, here, feel free to study this. <laughs> for, for any of you out there that want to do parodies of me, feel free to study this. I was thinking of parroting pops and use special effects to make my head really large. <laughs> All right, that was a personal shot. Oh, please. That was terrible. That, you know, and I should not do that. That was, I apologize. That was a personal, that was an attack on his, on his, um, on his uh, looks. And he can't help that. <laughs> oh, no. Should I take this part out? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm going to get punished for this. Yeah, I'm being a hypocrite. Yep. Hey, nobody's perfect. Um... The nation's continued economic troubles have sent Obama's approval ratings spiraling just as they did um, just as they did Reagan's. Though Obama's rating hit a new low of 46% last week, it is yet to plunge to the 35% Reagan hit in early 1983. So we still have further to go in disapproval ratings till he can match Ronald Reagan. And um, Please, El Brookman, don't get upset. Really. Calm down. Drink, drink some of your really expensive bourbon. The stuff that the rest of us working class folks can't afford. Break it out. Break out that two, three hundred dollar of vintage bourbon. Sip some of that and just relax and count to ten. Um, and this was in the business section, by the way. And uh, and then above that, above what I just read, according to this man's opinion, Reagan's approach won't work as well this time. So even though Obama and Reagan are different people, they're undergoing maybe similar circumstances. And, uh, and because they are different people, their approach might be different. But uh, that person thinks that uh, what Reagan did before wouldn't work this time. So maybe Obama will try something different. And I hope it'll work. All right, everybody. That's the end of Fez Night. I've gone on long enough. All right, everybody. Have a, have a good week, okay? All right. We'll see you next time. Maybe I'll skip a week. I don't know. All right. Bye.